Hi guys, aloha. Um, as you can see, I just came from a swim yesterday. I didn't make any video, but I was uploading a video which I think is important to talk about, about uh, draconian and reptiloids, reptoids, <laughs> I don't know how to say it. So it's about starseed activation. And today I will make just a small video. And it's always great if you ask me questions and you want to know more about it, then I will talk about it. Of course I will. So um, starseed activation means that you have to de decalcify your glands and activate your glands. Your glands are like your cells which are helping you to, to get your psychic abilities like all the waves like a radio station. Just imagine... Um, I'm the radio station and I'm sending out some frequency. I'm talking to you, right? And we have Wi-Fi. You don't need cable anymore. You sit in the car and it's up to you which frequency and which radio channel you tap into. But if the little cable or the contact is broken, like our glands, then we can't communicate, right? Because we are uh, psychic beings. We are like energy beings we are, we are all about energy and frequencies like when you think when you're ill and your mom calls you and say hey how son how are you or if uh, your daughter uh, calls you and tells you um hey uh no sorry and <laughs> like your daughter is about to call you and you will know oh I, I was just thinking of you it's like telepathy but what can you do in your day-to-day -day life that it really works and that you can help yourself okay first of all tamarick we call it also curcuma tamarick is a root it looks like ginger but it's uh, different so the powder you just take a teaspoon not even you take the spoon of a knife I like I show you what I do is I just take here the tip of a knife that's actually enough you put it in warm water and then you can squish lime, lemon here, okay? And then you can put really nice honey, honey. <laughs> so, and you just drink that the very first thing in the morning when you wake up, you drink that, okay? Okay, then what else can you do? You can of course use ginger, make hot water, boil the ginger in the water, then it gets really strong and make it small. You can also like, um, uh, crash it the ginger because the bigger the pieces are the less aroma you will have so crash it make it small pieces you can even eat it it's really good it's healthy and also with lime honey warm water you can drink that it's also really good for your tummy or when you're sick it's very good for strengthening your immune system the turmeric is also very good for your liver right and the liver is connected about being lucky, being healthy, being um, um, attracting uh, luck yeah, and happiness, being about happy. So if you detox and cleanse your liver, thank you, <laughs> um, this is really good. And as I said, it's always about cleansing the glands. And we don't have one glands, we have more. We have the thyroid, uh, is it called thyroid? No, I think the, sorry, in English it's always a little difficult. Um, then the ovaries for, for the men, the testicles. So we have more glands, we don't have just one. Then I will tell you some tricks, okay, which not many people know about it. And I will do share it with you because I'm a psychic, I'm a reader. I do activations with people and I will share it with you because I know you're being special. Otherwise you wouldn't be here in my group, okay? When I do activations, I don't see my clients as students. I see them as teachers and masters. All I do is I guide you and I walk with you till you can walk by yourself, until you remember who you are, okay? Now, this, can you guess what it is? This is frankincense. You can use it for smudging, but you can also take one or two bevels and eat it like a chewing gum and you spit it out after 10 minutes, like whenever. You can even hold it half an hour and eat it. Um, some people swallow it. I can't. I don't want to. And you just chew it. It really helps you to boost your immune system, to increase your vibration and remove negative energies. Something which is, which is really important 
if you have cold pressed oil or cold pressed coconut oil i have here it's a funny bottle but i got it from a guy here who does it himself and he gave it to me as a gift what you do is coconut oil is antibacterial so if you have a wound or fungus you can put coconut oil on your skin but now what i want you to do is you take okay i'm using here all my kitchen equipment take one um spoon i don't know how you call that spoon soup spoon <laughs> put oil on that very first thing in the morning when you wake up even before drinking the turmeric okay you take that put cold pressed oil put it in your mouth and keep it in your mouth and do this and then here between your teeth and also but don't drink it don't swallow it because now there's one positive two positive effects you should not swallow it and you have to spit it out at least after 10 minutes you keep it in your mouth for 10 to 15 minutes 20 would be awesome you can go for a run and keep it and you can just run around and clean your house and keep it in your mouth and because there's some amazing amino acid sor uh, acid which your body absorbs and the toxins in your body will be absorbed by the oil that's why you have to spit it out okay and after spitting it out you brush your teeth and after brushing your teeth you take a toothpaste without fluoride and you can take you can create your own toothpaste you can use um wait one second you can use um okay that was the wrong bottle <laughs> sorry <laughs> But actually, yeah, you can use lemon to one drop of lemon, one drop of um, eucalyptus oil or Japanese oil, they call it. And you can use baking, baking soda, but make sure it's the pure one. And then you mix it and you mix it with coconut oil. And then you have your own toothpaste, okay? And you can create it the way you want it, but it's organic and natural. Okay, now one more important part is apple vinegar so if you're tired of using the turmeric i i keep changing it for one week i do the turmeric in the morning and i also put it on the salad you can also what you can do is with the turmeric is mix it with the honey they call it the golden honey or something something gold i forgot so mix turmeric and honey and you can use it as a bread awesome it's all for cleansing and purifying your glands decalcifying your glands so you can use the apple cider not apple cider apple yeah apple cider vinegar <laughs> and you can take a teaspoon put it in warm water with honey and drink it or you just make very simple what i like to do i make salads with apple vinegar you can also take a bath and to make it alkaline you can put apple cider bath tub or you take a foot bath with the apple cider and it's very alkaline it makes your body alkaline i don't know how many times i'm going to say it <laughs> so um that will be like really good hygiene <laughs> um so yeah i think those things are very important to decalcify your glands and if someone tells me now omega-3 I'm sorry, I will not support it. Why do you need to kill a fish or an animal or whatever to decalcify your glands? I'm sorry, I don't support that. So nature has everything you need. Nature provides everything you need. And um, what you can also do is grapefruit. I don't have one here right now, but you can make grapefruit juice, which is a really good blood cleanser. It you it get uh, it removes and you can get rid of viruses bacteria and stuff which is like stuck in your body and there's something called neem tablets they also cleanse and purify your blood they're awesome and when you sleep on the high oinam oinam <laughs> i'm sorry i don't know how to say that um so the neem is actually very special you get it in i think all tropical islands countries but you can order it online 
you can either sleep on the leaves you can chew the leaves you can order the powder but i'm really telling you please don't it's disgusting don't take the neem oil it's disgusting it's the worst ever believe me i can i have I, i'm i'm strong right if something is bitter or whatever i'm the first who will eat it and take it and drink it i don't care but the neem is the worst so what you do is <laughs> take the capsules <laughs> and take the capsules to really cleanse your blood um you get rid of bacteria viruses fungus okay it's seriously good and uh, yeah so if you have any more questions <laughs> please comment make a watch party or whatever hi cc <laughs> that's so nice they like more and more people that's awesome thank you so please share that video okay and talk about it and use it and try it and have you any questions um it's so important to decalcify our glands because oh yeah there's one more thing in learning from a really old i call it master people would say doctor he was from a very old family ancestral lineage of martial arts ayurvedic acupressure doctor and he gave me a book to read which i normally he would not give to outsiders and i was allowed to copy it but it's not with me anymore that book unfortunately and one of the most important things was black pepper and rock salt or himalaya salt the himalaya salt has all the minerals you need we are made out of water we have the osmotic hmm, pressure in the cells it's called something osmotic I, um, and it's very important that you have all the minerals in your body and when someone tells you when you have fever oh take lots of vitamin c sorry that's bullshit just imagine you have a cup okay and there's one gap here there's one gap here they're all on different levels and you keep using vitamin c but here's a gap and you're you're lacking a vitamin a or whatever it will co all come out you have to fill your body up with all the minerals and the vitamins which you need okay otherwise if one is lacking it just drops out so it won't help so the himalaya salt is really good or the ocean salt and please don't take the salt which is with iodide they have um, um i don't know how to say um they have taken out they have processed it and all the minerals the healthy minerals are taken out from that salt and then they have put iodide on it you don't need that don't do that it's just harming your body makes your body more acid acidity acid <laughs> and that's when people get cholesterol and have issues and then they say oh salt is unhealthy actually it's not so please use that it's also much milder than the salt you get in, get in any store you will taste the difference the black pepper is very important because it's also antibacterial it's very good to boost your immune system it has some more benefits which i don't know but you can google it so black pepper is also very good so all those things are very easy very simple you can implement in your day-to-day -day life you actually should and it will help to increase your psychic abilities because your body is alkaline you're being a vessel you're being a medium and can i share how to get rid excess mucus from our body the mucus is it like uh, uh mucus is it something like fungus fungus yeah um please do one thing you keep start watching the video from the beginning i explain a lot of things what you can do to get rid of the mucus you just watch from the beginning okay so yeah those things are very easy and simple also there's one more thing for the women especially when you use makeup and uh nail polish and hair color also for the guys when there's something with metal also the deos um the deo the, the one without metal you smell like really fast and you don't have to smell like some stinky smell pot <laughs> so you can use the natural deodorant which is like a sticky paste and it's awesome you won't smell it's like you smell good you can use natural stuff because the lipstick and the nail polish and the hair color has metal and it also numbs and, and clusters your body also it creates mu mucus and it also uh, blocks your glands okay so you can also one more thing i want to show you 
you can use um, uh, like essential oils and what I do is and please make sure they're pure from nature and not some fake aroma oils just take it on here okay and you can put it behind your ears and also here on your crown chakra I also put it on the neck and uh, I also uh, put it on my palms and wrist and also <laughs> okay here's my foot I put it here on the uh, yeah on my foot where you do the foot reflexology I also put it there because the aroma oils get absorbed by the lymphatic system and it's really good those aroma oils increase your vibration and are also very good for your glands okay um yeah so thank you so much for following me i will make a video tomorrow as well um if you have any questions please let me know um if you want me to talk about something special i will do that and thank you so much guys for following me and um, talk about it, share it and try it out, okay? Bye guys, aloha! <laughs>